Hello there, and I'm about to demonstrate the uh, control consumer unit that's in this uh, 2006 uh, Auto Trail Cheyenne uh, motorhome. This is called the EC200 power supply unit. Just down here on the on the lettering, you will see PSU 2007. It's roughly the age of the vehicle, as I say, it's 2007. Is this particular one? We have got a little background noise being uh, given off at the moment because we have got the charger operating, as you can see by the illumination of this light here. If I actually turn that off, you can obviously hear that the fans actually stop working. So just be aware, it has got a fan built into it. It is slightly warm when it's in use because uh, there is some heat build up there. But I'll just leave that on in the background. So the panel I've just raised up, this little uh, Perspex panel, we reveals the... Uh, RCD, residual circuit device, and the three MCBs. Uh, the MCBs are like a fuse, such as what these are, but where these uh, are just trip out if there's a failure. So that just trips out if there's a failure on something. Turn it back on once you've removed the offending appliance which caused it to trip. But the RCD is something you should reset every time you couple up to mains electrics. You should test it by pressing this little black button in here and when I test when I push that in that lever there should also trip out and we'll lose this light probably lose lots of lights there we go um, so that is correct all that you have to do is reset it if you haven't got that function if that doesn't trip out you haven't got a main supply coming into this into the into the motorhome so please just consult with uh, the manager on site and uh, just see if you can find out the reasons why the supply is not coming to the post. When you do do that, just have a look to see if you have got a red light that appears down here. It's got reverse polarity. We do not want it to obviously illuminate because that's more for on the continent where you'll find that that should illuminate. The continents, they use a two pin plug as opposed to the UK where we use three pin plugs. Uh, so you might find that the uh, the plug is inserted into the socket the wrong way around all you've got to do is remove it and turn it around the other way and insert it back in and that red light should go out um, so you do want to get right polarity if you can uh, just on this little silver window here you will see a series of uh, one to eight um, so that's one to eight as regards fuses i'll put my hand over the top one to eight as regards fuses that tells you the size of the fuse it also tells you what it actually does when it serves within the vehicle and that's what those two items are there for the mcbs this word in here mcb allowance is these three switches again over here and it tells you what that main side of the supply feeds uh, if you do want the charger to work and i ask most people to turn them on when you do get on site if you've got mains hookup um, then obviously it's a case of that but you can isolate it if you don't want that background noise going overnight uh, during the night you can uh, turn it off should you wish to and that's the basics on that PSU uh, EC200 unit thank you very much